Hey guys, it's Austin from AT Cars. I'm being a little bit quiet because it is kind of dark out and sorry for the bad lighting. I just got to use this lamp right here. Uh, anyways, just going to be doing a quick little update video on the channel. Um, I'm, I'm excited because I did just get that camera I'm, or I have a microphone on the way now, a better one so you can actually understand what I was saying when I'm using that microphone. Um, but the main thing I'm here to talk about. Alright, first of all, so my stepdad owns a uh, carpet cleaning business and he's very successful and he's doing amazing with it. Um, anyways, he needed a car that was related to the company, fun to drive, and is like, so he can go to one place to another to check on his, on his, uh, like he does duct cleaning, carpet cleaning, uh, all that kind of stuff. So, um, basically, he bought a car so that he can go from place to place doing bids, doing, checking on his guys, going home to pick something up, all that stuff quickly, efficiently, and having a fun car that looks pretty good. So, he looked around, he was researching. One well, that was good on fuel economy too, because he didn't want to be spending a lot of money on gas, nobody does, but it's kind of a price to a project car. Um, anyways, he bought a BMW i3. Um, I took a drive in it today, the thing was awesome, it was fun, it was fast, I just love the instant torque of electric cars. Um, it was really quiet. I wasn't wasn't a big fan of the quietness. It kind of scared me more than anything else. I was like expecting because all those fast cars, you know, like the 2JZ, the RV26, the those engines that are like, and then nice LS, and then there's all those. They're just loud, and you feel the rumble. That's what I love about cars. Is usually the sound coming from you. You just feel all the. But it was just weird beating electric cars, so they're all silent. You're like, hey, we're doing 60. Cool. All right. Um, anyways, so I got to talking to him. Uh, so, he, he's the one who also owns the, the Cummins out there that I said in the, the car, the video where I scraped my car, scratched my car, I said hopefully we'd be able to do one of these reviews in the future, um, it's happening. So, my stepdad, he watched all my videos, he's kind of upset about the scratch thing, but besides that, he thought they were all really cool, and, um, basically, uh, he's willing to, uh, have us in the car, he's driving, um, Triton could be in the back seat, and then I could, you know, be sitting in the front seat, he'd be talking about the specs, we'll do reviews, we'll do 0-60s, to 60s, all that kind of thing, he's down for it, he's super cool with it, we'll probably do another one with the i3, um, so we're gonna be having some reviews of the car, cars that, uh, he's got in the future, um, and his good friend, Justin, who lives in the neighborhood about that way, um, he owns a Lamborghini Super Leggera. Uh, 20, I don't know what year it is specifically. I don't know all the specs on it. All I know, the, the dude's super cool, super chill. Uh, he owns a Jeep with some Fox shot, Fox uh, shocks, and I'm not a really big 4x4. That's a trend kind of thing, but he's not here. Um, he has a sick off-road Jeep. He might do one of those as well, but the dude's super cool. He's down for it too. Might show him some of our videos, so uh, he's going to let us do a review on his... Lamborghini Super Leggera, which fun fact, there's like only 53 in the United States if I remember right, and only two in Colorado. He wanted to be, he was originally the only one, but then somebody in South Colorado purchased one. I think it was by Colorado Springs, and he has one. But the the thing's sick. It sounds awesome. I'll have to get some nice um, uh, exhaust clips, all that kind of fun jazz. So, anyways, um, that's awesome <laughs> and. So we have very, very, as you know, the United States, us being a place for some reason, not many, we don't like to get X imports, like, I don't know, R34 GTR, please, come on. <laughs> Anyways, um, we don't get that many, so that means that we have less mechanics for that kind of stuff. For some reason, my stepdad knows all these people. He knows a person who runs a, he, he, he's a mechanic for only Bugattis. And people f who own Bugattis, like all the celebrities and basketball players and all them, and like, st st like, I don't know. Anyways, it, the people who own Bugattis, they go to him because there's only like three or four people, maybe even two people in the United States who have um, a Bugatti who uh, are good with maintenance and uh, mechanics on Bugattis. And uh, the dude's awesome. He's super cool. I've met him several times. I've met him at car shows. Uh, anyways, he owns... <laughs> Let's just say he owns a lot of cars. Dude's, again, he's super chill. Um, and my stepdad started talking to him, and apparently he's down too. 
So he's down for us to review. Like he owns the SUV, like Hummer looking Lamborghini. He owns the Gone in 60 Seconds Lamborghini Countach. He owns my friend's Lotus Esprit V8. Uh, he, he owns car after car after car after car. Um, and he's, he's like, you know what? I love you. I love you guys as family. I love what you guys do. You guys are super nice. You guys are all interested in cars. Um, I'd love to, it would be fun. So, um, again, thanks for him. Thanks for my stepdad for all of this pretty much. And, uh, thanks to Justin. And, um, basically I just want to give you a little bit of heads up because it is winter time. Uh, uploads are kind of slow. I'm still just trying to get as much money as I possibly can from Jimmy Jones. And plus, I just kind of got my schedule changed a little bit because we aren't getting that much business. So I got cut hours. So money is going to be a little bit on the DL right now. Um, but my birthday is pretty soon. And I don't know what I'm going to ask for. I want to ask for some maybe performance parts for my car or whatnot. And then maybe some cash just to kind of help out. But um, anyways, uh, that's just a nice update. The dude, everyone I just talked about, Thanks you so much. You guys get two handshakes, some thumbs up, and a couple high fives. Cause I I I, I think that's awesome. And um, uh, ask me in the comment section what car you want to see, or if if you would like to see your car showed or something like that. Because that's all I'm down for. I mean, I'll have, <laughs> I've already had somebody say, uh, "Are you are you trying to copy that dude in blue with the reviews and whatnot?" I mean, like. There's a whole genre of car reviews. Did I say food reviews? I didn't say food reviews, right? If I said food reviews, someone punched me. Anyways, car reviews. Um, there's a lot. There's a whole whole YouTube everything. There's multiple car channels about uh, car reviews. But dude, that dude in blue, dude's awesome. Uh, he's making it great. He's just doing what he loves, and that's kind of what I want to do. And plus, my channel is consistent. Uh, it's gonna be everything. It's gonna be things from car shows, us going to Moab and Trenton's car, us going like to SS Park and um, Red Feather and Trenton's car, going four by fouring. Uh, I want to start getting into racing, uh, just going to like the circuit or whatnot. And then we're gonna be doing reviews on my cars, doing tutorials. We're not just doing car reviews, but that's that's something I'm excited for because before that I really didn't quite think about it like that. Um, I mean, we did my car, Trenton's car, and her and his mom wants to be in, the, wanted to get a review. So we did that, and she was super nice, and uh, and all that. But I now this opens up a whole new door of YouTube vi YouTube video possibilities. Uh, I just I thought you guys should should know before I just you know jump ahead and, and do all this. So I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are too. Um, I'm gonna be getting to bed and getting all my stuff ready, getting my camera and all that stuff ready. Um, and I'm super super stoked for what's gonna come up in 2018. Um, by the way, comment down below. Uh, how was your How was your new? What you What you do? Um, to, if it was fun, uh, I didn't do too much. I kind of chilled out here with Trenton, and uh, we played pool, played some video games, and we listened to music in the hot tub. And then at midnight, we had a rave that we just had uh, strobe lights, and we're playing uh, uh, Bonfire by Knife Party. That was fun. Um, anyway, just tell me what you guys did. Um, quick, little, kind of short video, but, uh, I just want to thank you, I want to thank Justin, my, my stepdad, all again, can't thank him enough, um, I'm just excited for 2018, we got a lot to do this year, <laughs> hopefully my car gets start being, is starting to get built, and it's fun, it's not like it's not fun now, it's an amazing car, but I want to get, like, wheels and tires, I want to get... Uh, some performance to it. I want to make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Fix all the scratches and bad paint and what on it, and just make it look like a nice, nice car. And I want to maybe take it to some car shows, but um, I'm just excited for. I want to go to as many car shows this summer because um, I'm gonna be able to drive alone because I get my license in March. Um, so uh, I'm excited. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. Are you excited? We're excited. Um, Anyways, this has been awesome from AT Cars. I'm just going to just hopefully hopefully you enjoyed this nice little update review, and um, hopefully you're liking the content I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make them funny and uh, make people stick around, um, like the one where we were drifting in the snow. I had a pretty decent amount of editing into same thing with the Mercedes. Um, it's fun. I like to edit videos, so so I'd like to provide you with the 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 some pretty highly edited videos because 
I, I'm not a big fan of boring car videos of them just talking. Yeah, this is a 1.6 liter dual overhead cam, uh, A86. Uh, speaking of which, I've been, um, I've been watching Initial D, um, on the last couple episodes of Season 4. Really good show, if you haven't watched it, go and watch it. Yes, it's an anime, it's weird, Ye whatever, get over that part. Just a good show, it's a good drifting, cool story. Um, anyways, uh, I'm also going to be doing drawings and stuff like that. Uh, not like raffle drawings, but doing some speed, uh, time lapses of me <laughs> drawing some cars or whatnot because I like to draw um, and recently you saw that GTR which I drew and probably shouldn't have colored but colored anyways I I've gone on for too long <laughs> have a good rest of your night or day whatever time you're watching this I'll be seeing you guys in the next video high fives, knuckles handshakes, thumbs ups <laughs> thumbs ups that doesn't sound good um, that just sounds weird actually have a good one I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.